Initially, when we started to, to think about quality improvement, we thought that the, the, the single most important issue facing us at that time in January 2017 was how we responded to our service users. And that's not just appointment times, it's actually when they wanted to be seen or when they wanted to talk to somebody. How do we respond to that? And then who would respond to it? And the effects on everybody. As a quality improvement project, we started to think about reshaping um, community services. And how we reshape that is we thought, well, OK, what is it that frontline staff do regularly? and we thought about responsiveness. Normally when people call us, we have what we call a duty system where there's different people every day and your calls are answered. But what the feedback from our service user at that time was actually there are different people on different days. How can we begin to look at making a more continuous service or, or providing a more continuous service? And actually, is it just the duty system? What about people who are under uh, care coordination? You know, um, how responsive can it be rather than just your allocated time for visits? At that time, rightly or wrongly, we thought we needed to clean our systems before we can involve people. And I think that the transformation was around really having meaningful conversations, meaningful relationships, and that information going both ways. So is this a good place to receive care from? Is it a good place to work? It felt good, but at the same time, we were very aware of how the rest of the staff were not quite convinced. But we wanted, our aim was to change that relationship, and we did that by looking at increasing the attendance to recovery college between practitioners and service users. In that year-long period between March 2018 to March 2019, our service user involvement has only grown. Our practitioners who actually attend these workshops have become more consistent and I think majority of our staff, barring the new ones, have actually attended and are attending consistently. To come together as practitioners and service users and for that conversation to be completely transparent um, and to overcome some of the anxiety around defensiveness of practitioners or kind of criticism of service users and really to learn together how we can better provide care for our population.